Reddish-brown clouds drift above Jupiter's atmosphere, which appears calm from afar, lacking a discernible color in the abyss. Storms and chaos begin to appear as you draw closer to the globe. For the first time, data from the Juno spacecraft has been used to generate a 3D model of Jupiter's atmosphere. Scientists are terrified by what they've seen in these photos. These newly discovered Jupiter photographs and the alarming aspects, as well as SpaceX's engagement with NASA's Jupiter explorations, will be featured in today's video. Watch all the way to the end of this video for further information. Jupiter, the giant gas planet in our solar system, is the planet with the strongest magnetic field and the most satellites. Since the invention of the telescope and the rise of modern astronomy, we have learned a lot about it. Robotic spacecraft have been employed to study Jupiter's surface in unprecedented detail. Since the launch of the Pioneer 10 in 1973, eight other spacecraft have visited the Jovian system. All but two of these flybys were done by the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, or NASA. During these flybys, detailed observations were made without landing or going into orbit. As a result of the numerous flybys performed by all outer solar system missions, Jupiter has become one of the most visited planets in the solar system. On July 5th, 2016, Juno, the second spacecraft to orbit the planet, arrived and became the second in history to do so. Due to Jupiter's harsh radiation environment and large fuel requirements, it is difficult to send a ship there. For Elon Musk's firm, the announcement in June that NASA had selected SpaceX for a planned mission to Jupiter's ice moon Europa was a big success. In October 2024, the Europa Clipper mission will be launched into space from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. This will cost $178 million for the Falcon Heavy rocket. Thanks to Juno, data scientists have created the first ever three-dimensional image of Jupiter's atmosphere. Scientists can now see beneath Jupiter's brightly colored clouds, helping them to better understand the weather and environment in the warmer, darker, deeper layers. While orbiting Jupiter, we've gained a better understanding of how the planet's distinctive and colorful atmospheric features offer information about what's going on beneath this layer of cloud. Photographs of our solar system's largest planet have been taken by the Juno mission since 2016. Lightning in the clouds, deep atmospheric activity, and gigantic air array like Earth's famous Aurora Borealis have been observed on Jupiter. Ganymede, a moon in the outer solar system, has a lot of potential. However, Mars appears to be the most popular destination to search for life. Ganymede, Europa, and Enceladus are all thought to have oceans of water beneath their icy shells. Because of its thick eye shell, embedded rock fragments, and dazzling streaks across the surface, Ganymede is a fascinating and dynamic astronomical object. Ganymede also has a magnetic field, which acts as a protective shield. It is one of Jupiter's best Best known features. With a diameter of 24,000 kilometers and a height of 12 to 14,000 kilometers, it is south of the equator. Therefore, there is adequate space for two or three planets the same size as Earth, and the position of this planetary nexus has been known for at least 350 years. First discovered by Giovanni Cassini, an Italian astronomer, in 1665, the huge red spot was named after him. By the turn of the century, astronomers hypothesized that Jupiter's turbulent and fast-moving atmosphere were to blame for the storm. In March 1979, the Voyager 1 spacecraft flew close by to the planet. It observed the massive red spot up close, confirming previous forecasts. However, it appears to have shrunk since then. During the 17th century, the size was estimated to be around 40,000 kilometers, which is nearly double the extent of what Cassini observations indicate. They don't know just when it will disappear altogether, but they are sure that there will be another one somewhere on Earth or in our solar system. New discoveries show that the storms raging on the planet are much taller than were thought originally. Some storms go 100 kilometers below the cloud tops, while others, like the giant red spot, go over 350 kilometers. Scientists have been enticed by the crimson vortex since it was discovered nearly two centuries ago. According to the most recent research, cyclones are shown to be warmer at the top and colder at the bottom. According to a NASA press conference, Conference, the Juno spacecraft passed twice over the enormous red spot, searching for the storm's gravitational signature and investigating the concentration of air mass within it. The spacecraft could measure changes in speed as small as 0.01 millimeters per second because it was moving at 209 kilometers per hour. According to NASA, the crew determined the depth of the great red spot to be roughly 500 kilometers below the cloud tops. This new data, together with MWR's depth finding, provides us a great deal of confidence in our ability to accurately compute the Great Red Spot's gravity during the July 2019 encounter. Marzia Parisi, a Juno scientist at NASA, believes that future gravity studies on Jupiter will produce equally exciting results. Cyclone storms and polygonal structures were observed by the probe five years ago. In the Northern Hemisphere, there are eight structures with eight sides and five structures with five sides. According to new observations, these atmospheric phenomena are still in the exact locations. 
According to Alessandro Mura, a Juno co-investigator, Jupiter's cyclones influence each other's motion so that they can oscillate around an equilibrium location. The pattern of these sluggish oscillations show that they have deep roots. As hurricanes on Earth migrate poleward, these cyclones on the other side of the world are deployed to keep them from doing so, based on their data. This balance explains where the cyclones are located and how many there are for each pole. Except for the greatest storms, the largest planet has unique belts and zones of white and reddish clouds surrounding it. Atmospheric gas levels in these belts are moving up and down in remarkable synchronicity, according to fresh data obtained by NASA. Another notable characteristic of Jupiter is the planet's distinctive banded appearance. Planetary scientists refer to the lighter whitish bands as zones, while the deeper crimson bands are called belts. Jupiter's planetary scale winds blow east and west in opposite directions on the outer borders of these colorful stripes. Another concern is whether the belts and zones persist as the planet's depth increases or if its structure is limited to its cloud tops. On NASA's Juno mission, a microwave radiometer has been designed to measure emissions from deep into the solar system's largest planet for the first time. This is an important goal. The Juno team uses the data from this sensor to peer further into Jupiter's atmosphere than has ever been feasible before to understand the nature of the belts and zones. As six wavelength channels spanning from 1.4 to 50 centimeters, the microwave radiometer on Juno can study the atmosphere at pressures ranging from 0.6 bars at the surface to 100 bars at a depth of 250 kilometers. This discovery was made by following trace amounts of ammonia in both the north and south poles where we found similar Pharrell cells that regulate much of the Earth's climate. Co-author Karen Duo wrote a study about Jupiter's Pharrell-like cells that was published in a scientific journal. She said that each of Jupiter's eight Pharrell-like cells is at least 30 times bigger than the largest Pharrell cell on Earth. According to NASA, there's a 65-kilometer transition between the belts and zones, and the Juno crew found that Jupiter's belt is brighter in microwave light than the surrounding zones at shallow depths. Lower in the water, underneath the water clouds, the opposite is true, revealing a likeness to our oceans. Nearly five times Earth's normal atmospheric pressure, the planet's belts shine spectacularly in microwave light. For scientists, this is a bizarre chance to see the previously unobserved reversal in the weather and circulation while the zones are black. At the cloud tops, Jupiter's belt is illuminated by microwave radiation, but the zones remain dark. Temperatures above freezing or the absence of ammonia gas, a robust microwave light absorber, are both signs of bright microwave emission. Researchers feel something is changing with depth. Whether it's the temperature or the quantity of ammonia, it's hoped that more detailed photographs will be made public soon. Thanks for watching, and please stay tuned for more interesting space adventures. Let us know what you think about this discovery in the comments section below, and as always, we'll see you again on the next video, only here on Quest, where we bring the cosmos to your screen. Thanks for watching.